good, Reem Fit Nation. You guys already know the vibes, man. It's your boy Reem. And we are back with another video. But before we get into today's video, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at ReemFit24. Follow your boy, man. Help me get to 600 followers. And then eventually 1,000 followers. And then eventually 2,000 followers. All right. Yeah, get the point. Anyway, so this is a story about um, these two cops who forcefully pushed this guy out of a New York City train station. And being that I am from New York City, uh, I felt the need to, you know, I want to give my opinion on it, my opinion. So let's see. First thing we're going to do is watch the video. I just want to make sure that the video works. Let me make sure how everything looks the way it's supposed to look. I was supposed to look. Okay, we good to go. Um. Anyway, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's roll it. Let's roll it. Let's roll it. Let's go. Aha! Uh -huh. I mean, from what I'm seeing, there's only oh, yeah, it's only one. The the female officer didn't really push him out. It was just mainly the dude, the main officer. But anyway, yeah, he, he, he got him up out of there. He, he got him up out of there. He's like, uh-uh. Nope. He got him up out of there, bro. I wonder what he did. He said... I'm not sure if you guys heard it, but the police officer said to the man, you're either going to use the, the train station or you're not. And then the guy said something, and then the police officer said, you're being disruptive, and then he walked off. And the man to act later for her badge number, and she ignored him. All right, then it just replays from the top of the video. But anyway, I want to, you see the way, like, do you see the way that the lady is looking at the lady recording? Because there's a lady recording this, and we're going to get into that in a minute. But do you guys see the way she is looking at the lady recording? Man, listen, miss. Like, not to please don't take this as racism or me being ignorant, but the person recording this couldn't have been black. The reason why I say that is because, one, they're recording this, we mind our business, Two, when we see a cop look at us like this, we go to, oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> you feel me? Like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we, we go the opposite way. We're not going to stand there and have the camera on the cop like this when a cop is looking at us like this. So, yeah, I'm just saying. We, I know I would have been like, <laughs> oh, no. Nah. I don't, I don't want nothing where you just gave him, miss. I'm just, listen, I'm just, you know. I just want to ride the train. I don't want no problems. <laughs> you see the way she's looking? I cannot get over that, bro. Look at the way she is looking at the lady recording. Like, you, like she's about to give her what she gave, like, what the other dude got. That's the vibe I'm getting. But anyway, so you guys saw that. Um, I don't need this anymore. So pretty much what has happened is, um, the guy that you saw at the beginning of the video, he asked the cops, he confronted the cops about not wearing a mask in the train station because that is the mandate. Whenever you are out in public, you have to wear the mask, whether you want to wear it or not. It's the rules. So he confronted the cops. And as you guys can see in the video, the cop didn't like it. The cop did not like this man coming up to them, confronting them about not having on mask. And he was physically removed from the train station. Now, my personal opinion on it is that you know the rules are the rules. Like you people, right? I'm not. I'm not. No, no. Let me rephrase. People. I'm not gonna say you people. People often like to say to people, "Well, you should have complied." Mostly the black people. You should have complied. Now what? The cops ain't complaining. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Now what? Anyway, right? So we got two cops not complying with the mask mandate. 
Now, me personally, I'm not really a big uh, mask guy. I, I mean, I if if I'm out and I don't have my mask on, and somebody, hey, do, can you, do you mind putting your mask on? I put my mask on. No big deal. Not a big deal. Like, I don't understand why people act as if putting on the mask is the end of the world. It's not a big deal. In my opinion, these cops handled this completely wrong. They could have just said, hey, um, sure, thank you for reminding me. Let me put my mask on. In the conversation, no big deal. He gets on the train, you guys stand there, everybody goes home or whatever the cops had to do or whatever. Okay? But instead, the cops opted to um, get angry and physically remove the gentleman, and now they are under investigation. Good job, officers. <laughs> Good job. Now, on the other hand, The guy who confronted them about not wearing a mask could have just minded his own business. Could have just minded your business. The cops are over there, they're not bothering you. Six feet, stay out the cop's face. You see they don't have no mask on. If you feel that strongly about it, go in the opposite direction. Not that hard, not rocket science. I don't get it. Like some people have the, like, just have the, the urge to just be in other people's business and that is, it's annoying. So I could see it from that perspective too. But at the same time, like I said, those officers definitely, in my opinion, abused their power a little bit. A little bit. They didn't, they didn't rough him up too much. They didn't beat his ass. But like they physically removed him for him simply asking them to put on a mask. I, I don't know. I just think that's a bit excessive. You know, but like I said, at the same time, the guy couldn't mind his business. But, you know. Some people really take this serious, like the whole mask mandate, they take it very, very seriously. And I understand that your health. I'm not mad at you. Like I said, if, if, if I'm out and I don't have my mask on for whatever reason, and if I'm going to an establishment or, you know, if I'm doing something or just, you know, whatever, and somebody, hey, uh, Reem, or hey, sir, or whatever they call me, excuse me, do you mind putting your mask on? Yeah, no problem, sure. No need to make a big deal. But anyway, I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the cops are wrong for not having on masks? Do you guys think that the guy was wrong for getting in their face about it? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, I personally think that, you know, the rules are the rules. And everybody's mandated to wear the mask. I, I mean, there's plenty of people who think it's stupid. And I'm not mad at those people for thinking it's stupid. And I'm not mad at the people who take it serious. It is what it is. You know, rules are the rules, though, officers. You guys have to follow the rules. Just like you enforce the rules for us to follow, you have to follow those rules as well as we do. Now, the guy could have minded his business and all this would have been avoided. But he didn't. When people see you doing wrong, they're going to call you out for it. Some people. Some, for the most part, some people leave it alone. But when other people see you doing wrong, they call you out for it. But anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys are ready to vibe, man, so make sure you guys hit that. Follow up on subscribe by wherever you're watching this at, man. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video, man.